let's look into the deployment options again in a better visually way so here we see that option two is a standalone option where we have a direct communication between 5g network between the g node b 5g nr and between the 5g core network now here uh, there is only a master node there is no secondary node which is available in the radio access network now in case of option three which is a non-standalone what is happening here in this case the 5g connection uh, from the nr 5g nr radio access network is going towards the 4G core network. So it is not connecting with the 5G core. So possibly the 5G core is not yet deployed. And is it's a very initial stage of deploying 5G network in any brownfield network where the legacy technologies are already available. So here, if you see option three, the core network, the 4G is being used. Whereas we have a master node of 4G E node B because it probably has a better coverage as compared to 5G, or maybe have we have more number of sites of 4G as compared to 5G currently. So very initial stage of deployment of 5G that will opt for option three. The option four is again a known standalone. What is happening in this case, the core has been now upgraded here. It has been changed to 5G, but still, if you see the E node Bs are still present. Again, the possibility would be the coverage at the footprint of these 4G network is higher and more as compared to 5G. Option seven, where we have uh, the again a non standalone option where we have the master node of 4G and uh, we have both the radio access present in this case. So option seven, we have uh, the connectivity in this case would be with the core network of 5G, which is 5GC. So this is just the similar uh, interpretation of the previous slide, but in a different way so that we can just, you know, the connect the dots in a better way.